Hey folks, welcome to summer 2021. My name is Andy, aka Professor Hosmanic, and I'm here at the U.S. Supreme Court. Not actually, I'm in my house where I've been since last spring. Um, but we get to be together this summer over uh, video, so I hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, what I want to do in this video real quick is just kind of walk you through the flow of the online class for summer. It might be a little different than any online classes that you took in the spring. Uh, so the main thing uh, that I want to touch on right away is this is asynchronous class. That means we do not meet up uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, like your schedule may say, for, for Zoom things. Um, the class is small enough that if we want to get together for Zoom stuff, like a final exam review or something, we can do that. But I know a lot of people like to travel over the summer or have internships, and that's just not really a possibility to get together, uh, you know, all at once. People are in different time zones. So we're not going to make any of that mandatory, all right? Because um, I always get a lot of questions like, hey, do we have Zoom today? No, we don't. Um, I do provide you a schedule uh, upon which to watch the videos and keep up because uh, it is, while it's not a live Zoom class, it's also not the other extreme, which is like, sometimes people think, oh, I don't have to do anything until week 11, and then I can do all the assignments and turn in the midterm and the final and be done. It doesn't work that way either. It is like a regular class with regular due dates. You have individual assignments, you have group assignments, and you have exams that have to be taken at a certain time uh, within a range of time. So it is, you have some discretion. If you wanna watch the videos at eight in the morning or eight at night, you can do that, but you don't wanna just wait until everything uh, is overdue and then try to turn in because you'll find that's not possible. Um, a little plug for watching the lecture videos. Uh, we do research with um, where we run regressions uh, to figure out like what is the biggest factor in people scoring well or poorly in the class. And by far, the biggest factor is how much of the videos they've watched. And that kind of makes sense because the test is written on what I teach and that's what's in the videos. Uh, but I'm always surprised to find that about 30% of the class watches no videos at all. And they form the bottom part of the curve that usually makes up the Ds and Fs and uh, stuff like that. So if you're okay with a D or an F, then this can be the last video that you watch. Um, if you're not, if you're looking to get in the A, B, and C range, then I highly suggest you watch those videos. The textbook I'm marking is optional for this summer. I think it's helpful, but we've also had a lot of problems getting it printed and sent to people. It is at least theoretically available at Iowa Book, but we've just had a lot of problems getting them to actually send it to our students who order it. Um, so we are going away from this textbook in the fall to uh, electronic textbook. Um, if you've bought it, it will help you. If you haven't bought it, you don't absolutely need it. You will need to lean heavier on the slides and videos then, of course. All right, so let me share my screen now. And we're going to go through just some of the features of the class. OK, uh, so I'll try and record some little videos periodically throughout the semester. It's probably not going to be necessarily every week unless we have something you know big going on. Uh, but I will try to give you at least a text announcement up here or an update video you know, once a week for the 11 weeks that we're together, just kind of saying, hey, here's what we're doing this week, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, I'm going to compile those into a YouTube playlist, and that's going to be located here, and it should always kind of show you the most recent one, all right? Um, there's a little welcome video here, features me and Professor Dayton, who co-teaches with me in the fall and spring, um, but it's kind of fun, so you might enjoy that. Uh, here's information for my office hours. Right now, I'm keeping it Tuesday, 2.30 to 3.30, plus appointments scheduled through Calendly. I may change this. Um, we'll just see how it works out for people. Okay, textbook info down here. Um, so how you get into the class. The modules for the class um, kind of form the uh, procedure to get through. 
um, but the actual official schedule is on the syllabus, right? So let's take a look at the syllabus. Uh, if you click the syllabus thing over here, it's going to show you uh, the course summary here and then a click here to see the syllabus. And so if you go ahead and open that up, see it's 16 pages, we kind of have a lot of boilerplate stuff. Um, but please do read through this because it's important, kind of tells you, you know, what the graded assignments are and what the expectations are. Um, when you get down here to the course calendar, this is the really important uh, information for you to have, all right? So it's going to give you kind of, when we're on campus, I teach this course on a Tuesday, Thursday format. I'm trying to kind of keep that same feel. Uh, even though we're not on campus for this. So I have kind of the week number and then like how you ought to split up your time that week in a kind of a Tuesday, Thursday fashion. Okay, obviously, unless it tells you something to do that day, you have some flexibility, but this will help you keep pace. Um, so I do have a syllabus quiz um, and I'm gonna go tune that up right after this to make sure I don't have any old information. I just realized I might need to tune that up. Um, but once you... Uh, past that, you can take that as many times as you want. Once you pass it with a perfect score of 10 out of 10, then you can move on to the further modules. Okay, um, so for week one, you know, look at modules one and two, um, and they are helpfully numbered modules one and two in the module list. Uh, also, if you're reading the text, I've given you the names of the chapters there. So I would, uh, if you're reading the text, I'd read that first, then watch the videos. Um, or you can just jump in and and watch the videos. Like I said, it's going to need a little closer watching if you don't have the book, but I think that's okay. Uh, week two, I'm going to assign groups. I'm not assigning them this week because we have people adding and dropping the class and I have to kind of manually redo the groups uh, after people add and drop. So don't email me like, I can't see my group. Who's in my group? I haven't assigned them yet. We'll do that next week, probably toward the end of next week, right? Uh, week three, you do have your first group assignment done, but it, or do, but it's a really easy one. It's like a meet and greet uh, kind of deal, you know, setting up your group. All right. And so just following along, following along, and then you come down to week five. Um, this is where we have a, uh, there is one quiz, one relatively short quiz, which I talk about in the videos, and then the midterm exam. Then, you know, week six, week seven, we have the ethics essay due, which is our largest individual assignment. Um, so there's lots of good information on how to write that, good videos on how to do that. Um, and then we come down here uh, through the 11th week of class and then the final exam. Um, so I've got all of the good stuff uh, here. So please just take a look at that, familiarize yourself with it, um, and that will help you get through. When you go to look at the modules, you may not see all of this yet um, if you haven't taken and passed the syllabus quiz, but you will once you do. Okay, so we have kind of the first module 0 0.1. Any of these modules that are like 0 point something, it's like intended to be before module one because module one corresponds to chapter one in the book. All right, so just kind of some general information. 0 0.2, sometimes people are like, hey, I'm having a legal problem or I'm having a problem with my landlord. Um, I, I can't represent you or give you legal advice because you're my students and it's a conflict of interest, uh, but here are some folks who can, and if you're interested in law school or pre-law, there's uh, a group there, some information there. 0 0.3 is group work info, tips and policies. What do you do if, um, you know, how do I form the best group? How do we work together well? What if I have somebody who's not responding? Um, how do I message my group members? It's all in there. So please take a look at that. 0 0.4, I have a lot of exam study materials for you, all right? Um, so, you know, review slides, videos, um, a study guide outline that you can use to prepare your notes, uh, two quizlets, one for the midterm, one for the final from a former A plus student. Um, lots of good stuff there. Um, 0 0.5 um, slides and video links. So if you bought the textbook, there's uh, some references to some videos uh, embedded in the book. Obviously it's paper, so you can't watch it there. 
Um, if you want to watch those videos, you can click here and look at those. They're not integral to the class and you won't be tested on them, but some people like it, so that's fine. Um, if you want the slides to look at or use, I host those on a SharePoint site. Um, and so your Hawk ID login is required there, um, but you can view or download those there if you want. You'll also see them in the videos. Um, 0 0.6 is just kind of fun stuff, you know, books about law, good legal podcasts, et cetera. Uh, 0 0.7 is a pretty important one. This is the list of video lectures and where you can access them. So some of these are available on uh, Panopto, which is hosted by the University of Iowa. Um, I have also tried to put them on YouTube so that you can watch them on a mobile device or somewhere maybe where you have limited bandwidth. Um, the Panopto thing is really resource heavy. Okay, um, so I've got all of the links here to both places where applicable. And I have the date that it was fil filmed on. So I try to keep these videos fresh and I film them live in my lectures in W10. Um, I was in the process of recording all new ones when the pandemic hit and everybody got sent home. So you'll notice that the 2020 ones shut off in March. Um, and then you will see some older ones uh, from a couple of years ago. It's fine. The, those areas of laws ha haven't really changed a lot. Um, you know, everything you need is in those, even though they're a couple of years old. I would love to record all new ones, and I plan to once we can get back to class. But this is what we have uh, right now. So uh, you can just go ahead and, you know, click on these and, and view them as you go along. Um, after this after 0 0.7 we get into the actual substantive modules so module one module two slides and reading some of these modules i have um, some recommended reading some is kind of optional um, again these are hosted on the sharepoint site so you need to use your hawk id and password to log in um, but you can go through and, and uh, access those and then you see this goes all the way down through module 15. And then we have a totally optional but awesome um, series of interviews and guest speakers and things that we've, uh, folks that we've interviewed or talked to in the past couple of years. Uh, we have a US cabinet secretary, uh, justice of the Iowa Supreme Court, state auditor, former assistant attorney general. We have the lieutenant governor, and then we have a prominent researcher in uh, wrongful convictions. So kind of neat stuff. You can watch those and have some fun with that. All right. So that is the module structure. Again, just kind of check the home site. Make sure you have your announcements uh, set to notify you by email. If I post something here, um, I do expect you to be responsible for it. The last three announcements will show up here and then you can access the archive of them over here. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to email or come to office hours. Didn't see anybody today in office hours, but it's the first day of class. Uh, would be great to meet you sometime over the course of the summer. Um, so yeah, just looking forward to having you guys in class. Um, I hope you're all safe and healthy and doing well. And uh, look for more updates as they come. All right, guys, we'll see you soon.